Hello and welcome to another month of mail. Today we are reading all of the mail that is postmarked from the month September 2016. Are you ready yes. to engage in mail opening and reading? I thought this was a QA. and I didn't know we were opening and reading mail on a Somet mail video. Sometimes it's a bit of an impromptu Q&A. Anyway. Uh, our first letter, our featured letter, comes from... Elizabeth in Bellingham, Washington. Wait, and, 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 wait. Her stamp says cantaloupes, and there's cantaloupe on it, and it's a forever stamp, so it says cantaloupes forever. <laughs> cantaloupes forever! Elizabeth's letter <laughs> reads... Dear Stephen Amell, Hello again, it's Elizabeth, or Liz... Or Lizzie. I actually forget how I signed off last. I drew the picture with Twilight Princess Link and Zelda, along with a few other characters from fun Let's Plays you guys did. Ring any bells? No? Yes? Okay. Uh, I was so happy you liked it. It gave me such happy in my heart. I can English, I swear. Anyway, here are some more things I had ideas for. The first four are from games I'm hoping you will someday Let's Play together. They are in order from what I think is most to least likely. That doesn't say much for the chances other than for Ocarina of Time, but I can dream. Next, we have two, or we have the kitties, uh, or at least an attempt. Might redo this one later, but Kepi couldn't wait to help out with the puzzle. Uh, that brings me to your puzzle memorable moments video. You know, where you slowly descend into madness. Watching that four minutes made me remember some of the other funny stuff from that April Fool's prank that I had to watch it again. That's right, I said again. I watched the full six hours twice, not all at once, and I sped up some parts and occasionally multitasked. I have a lot of free time. Regardless, kitties were silly, so kitty picture. Lastly, one drawing for each of you with a color bonus. I rarely paint anymore, I don't have all the patience needed, um, but I had the idea for these after watching the vlog where you explained why Mao resigned. No words seemed right for that, so you get these two cuties. The work you both do is amazing and makes so many people happy. We love you guys and can't wait for more games, paintings, and daily craziness that is sure to come. Thank you so much for all you do, Elizabeth, or Laughing Double O Hyena on YouTube. Elizabeth, thank you. And these are uh, these are truly fantastic. <laughs> Kepi wants to Kepi help. wants to help. Sagan wants to nap. Kepi always wants to help. Help. Kepi thinks he's helping. In giant air quotes help. I want to take this opportunity to say that um, that series, which was an April Fool's joke, is not dead. I do have some ideas for it, so I'm not like trying to like build hype or anything. I'm just mentioning that if anyone was like, ah, that was an April Fool's Day video and we'll never see another one, I'm not so sure. I think that at some point we will do another puzzle, so if you were really into that, you could get excited for that. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you so much for the leather and then also for all the awesome art. Next up, we have a package from Alejandro in Atlanta, Georgia. Beep, 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 beep. That was you opening. Uh, these, so, are, these are these are t-shirts. Yeah, it's um, Alejandro sent these from a uh, company T Public. I think T Public. Okay. Bernie was stuck what for is a it? second. Oh my god, that's an amazing shirt. Oh my god. I had just seen the top, and at first I was like, oh, it's Peach, but I didn't see the Sailor Moon part because it was all folded. That's freaking incredible. That is. That I love is that. amazing. See wow. The other one is. That's such a great idea. And also, Mel loves that. Oh man, it's Sonic, but it's done. In the same style the as same the silhouette level from Donkey Kong. Correct. Uh, Sunset Shore. That's also brilliant. These are really brilliant These are designs. Cool shirts. Those are some really friggin' sweet shirts. Alejandro, that is awesome. On, on, on behalf of Mal, <laughs> thank you. That is, I love this. Yeah, that is very cool. Like, I like the peach one, but like the Sonic one is so cool because. It is very cool. It's like the contrast of the 16 bit eras. Yeah. Where Donkey Kong Country and Sonic were to, well, I guess I was Mario, but screw Mario. Donkey Kong Country and Sonic, and they, it's just neat. Anyway, Alejandro, those shirts are awesome. Thanks again. Next up, we have a uh, tiny little package from England. And there is a letter inside here. Dear Stephen and Mal George, my name is Andrew and I'm from London, England. My girlfriend Pandora and I are massive fans of you guys. 
We met almost three years ago while we were both at university. I guess in America it's called college. And she introduced me to a whole load of different YouTubers that she watched and had done for years. I have to say, I'd pretty much actively avoided YouTube and never really been too interested in YouTube other than using it to find music. I suppose I'd just never really seen the YouTube vlogging or Let's Play scene as something that would appeal to me. However, Pandora introduced me to Steven Plays, and to be honest, I was hooked really early on. I remember the clear turning point for me was your To The Moon series. It wasn't just the game choice was great, it was the approach both you and Mal took to it. It totally changed the way I looked at games. Instead of just playing them and enjoying the gameplay and a good story, it made me think about the craft, the music, and pretty much everything that goes into the game. I was really impressed with the style of the videos, the editing of every episode was spot on, and it added so much weight to a game that was already heavy in its subject matter. Um, I think the Journey playthrough may have even topped that, but they were both flawless. Both me and Pandora are hoping that you do an Abzu playthrough too. I think that would be incredible. Uh, we've never played any of the Donkey Kong games before, but since watching your channel and seeing the yearly Donkey Kong Let's Plays, Pandora's been really tempted to get one. She'd never even considered them before, having always just gone with the games that her brother played when they were younger, like Zelda and Mario Kart. But after seeing how much fun you two have, she's most likely go going to get one for us to play. There just don't seem to be many decent two-player co-op games out there these days. In any event, it's not just the gaming, it's the obvious positive impact you guys have on so many people. It's something I hope you guys don't underestimate. It's a true talent to do what you do, so basically, I wanted to send a thank you. Um, I thought I'd send something that means as much to me as the content you guys create means to you. I'll give you a bit of a background on what I've decided to send. Currently, we live in Liverpool. Uh, we moved here to study further. I did an MA in Popular Music and Society, while Pandora studied Evolutionary uh, Behavioral Biology. My passion lies in music, and since moving to Liverpool, my band has started to gain a bit of traction, and finally, after an enormous amount of time, we've finished our debut single. I realize that I can't remember many times where you discuss your musical taste on Steven Vlog, but maybe you'd enjoy our style? It's kind of rock, I suppose. I'm not really sure what you'd call it. Either way, I just genuinely wanted both of you to have this. Furthermore, at the time of me writing this, the song has not yet been released, so what you're getting is a first listen before pretty much everyone, definitely the first American listeners. If you're interested in keeping up with the band, it's facebook.com slash Lilium Band. Uh, thanks a lot for reading this. Kind regards, your friends from England, Andrew and Pandora. And there's actually, I'll show you guys here, actually a picture of them, which is really cute. Very cute couple. Um, Andrew and Pandora, thank you. Uh, that was a really nice, heartfelt letter, and... Um, <laughs> I, I guess I don't really discuss my musical taste on Steven Vlog a whole lot. Like, occasionally we talk about them in, like, Q&As or, or something. Or, like, a band. Like, they might be giants. Yeah. Um, I I like everything. He does. Like, everything. I, I, I have a really hard time finding music I don't like. So, I haven't I haven't heard this yet. Obviously, you just opened it. But um, there's a good chance that I will, uh, I will, I will like it. So, I don't know if this is out yet for everyone I've, because this is we're opening this like a month later mm -hmm. but um lilium band on facebook is uh is the url if people want to check this out and their first debut single is called disappear so i will give this a listen at some point and andrew i really appreciate you watching and then also sending this along so thank you and best wishes to both you and pandora the next package we have is from like amazon or something there's no gift note. Really? No. Oh, what's inside? A game. Do you want to see what it is? It's hard for me to see because it's the other way. Okay, what game is it? Dragon Quest. Oh, eight. Dragon Quest Eight. Journey of the Cursed King. Playable demo inside for Final Fantasy Twelve. There's no gift note. No gift note. Okay, well, someone sent us Dragon Quest Eight, and I'm not sure who sent us Dragon Quest Eight, but we appreciate being sent Dragon Quest Eight. That is a heavy box. I've always been interested in it because I looked at the cover and I was like, man, this looks like a game I would enjoy before I ever played Earthbound. I um, I played the demo a million years ago. There was a demo disc for that that came with something, and I played the demo. The demo is like super long. Not Final Fantasy Twelve. No, uh, no, it was a demo for this game. I know, I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Um, yeah, but it was a really long demo, and it was fun. Um, the Dragon Quest games date back to very, very long time ago. Um, we, 
you've probably you've probably seen them. We have some I mean, of yeah. them. Yeah. Have you heard of the, the series Dragon Warrior? Yeah. It's the same series. Okay. But in Japan, it was called Dragon Quest, and they brought it over here, and they called it Dragon Warrior. Mm -hmm. The first four were for NES, and then they moved on to other systems. But um, I think eight was the first one for PS2, and it was a really big deal. Also. I can't remember exactly. It's either seven or eight, but one of them just came out on 3DS. Like they ported the PS2 game to 3DS. I think it was eight, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I don't know who sent this, but this is a really fantastic game. I've heard fantastic things about it, so we appreciate it nonetheless. Our next package is from Jessica in Australia. And it says, it's, oh, okay. Ooh, you got all sorts of things in yeah. there. Yeah, what Here. is? Oh, I see, I see candy. No, you don't. I do see candy, you Mallory. Don't. It's candy. Oh, you can't keep the too. candy from me. There's one for Stephen and Mal, and then there's one to Mal. And, uh, oh, is that adorable? This is pretty friggin' adorable. You guys see that? It's like little cupcakes. Little cuppy cakes. All right, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Hey, Stephen and Mal. I'm Jess. Uh, I've been following your channels for a while now, ever since I came across your Donkey Kong Country 3 Let's Play. I, like Steven, grew up with Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. Some friends of ours gave us their Super Nintendo when they got an N64. With it came Killer Instinct, Donkey Kong Country 2, and Super Mario All-Stars. That's a really fantastic combination. Um, you've probably, you're, you're probably wondering how Donkey Kong Country 3 fits into all this. Well, some friends of mine had Donkey Kong Country 3, but not two, so we went, so we would swap games occasionally so we could play each game that we didn't own. I loved those games, though I never cared about getting 100%, I left that to my friend's brother. So I still got to experience the game without having to work too hard. Anyway, the point of this package, years later, after I got a DS, I got the Donkey Kong Trilogy for GBA. Now, since I have the Super Nintendo version on the Wii Virtual Console and no computable, uh, DS anymore. I don't have a use for the GBA version, so I figured send them to people who would appreciate them, even if they only exist in your lives as part of your collection. My saves are still on them, by the way, if you ever want to see how far I got. And uh, while I'm still on the subject of games, I have to thank you for introducing me to some great games which I probably wouldn't have known about otherwise. Such games include uh, Minecraft. Yes, before I saw your Let's Play, I knew next to nothing about it. Now I play quite often, and of course, thanks for introducing Earthbound to me. I've played through a bit, and one day I'll finish it. Uh, also, thanks for Tulip. Uh, I know it was tough, but I'm glad you shared it with everyone. I saw some of it while I was on holiday in Japan, which felt right. I also included uh, some snacks for you. I hope you enjoy them. I sent biscuits mostly because I figured anything chocolate wouldn't be in the best condition by the time you opened the package. Oh, and by biscuit, I mean what you guys call cookies. I know there's a difference. Uh, I personally like both kinds, so I hope you do too. By the way, if, in case you're curious, to Australians, a cookie is a chocolate chip cookie. Everything else is a biscuit. Oh, that's really interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. In fact... This is bizarre, because I was discussing this exact thing with you, like, a week or so ago. Because we were in Publix, and they have digestive biscuits from England. Yeah, and we were talking about, like, what is a cookie yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it's a chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for your great content, and I hope you enjoy this package. Uh, P.S. I'm curious to know how long this will take coming all the way from Australia. We shall see. Um, do you know when we received this box in um, particular? Sometimes our post, marked, isn't it? Yeah, our post office marks October third. Mm -hmm. So you wrote this uh, September twenty seventh. So less than a week. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it arrived just before we got hit by Hurricane Matthew. So interesting. Um, Jess, thank you so much. Also, I actually really like this. Is weird and dumb, but like this is a postcard, and Jess's leather like folds out. Of it, I don't know. I, I thought that was really cool, so I like that. And then you also. I have a letter. You have a letter. I'm gonna hand you these because I couldn't get them open, so you can struggle with that while I read. <laughs> okay. Dear Mal, I wanted to write you a separate letter to share with you um, that I really could relate to what you said when you resigned. I didn't last as long as you. I left high school teaching when I was still a student teacher in my third year of my education degree. Mm. Um, 
The part that broke me was quite terrible mostly, oddly enough, because of the teacher I was assigned to. She was really harsh and I was really shy at the time. I know. Great choice for a teacher. So every day after school I'd end up crying because of her. It made me so nervous to see her at the back of the classroom as I fumbled on the front, at the front. I don't know if it's worse for subjects like you taught, or like I taught, I was teaching French, um, that are voluntary or seen as easy classes, which a lot of students see as a perfect time to slack off. But I imagine all areas are similar. After that, um, I gave up education and focused on languages, my passion, which made me happy. One of the requirements to finish the degree was to spend a year overseas studying the language. I was all set to go to France, and then my accommodation fell through. Um, at the last minute, and I couldn't go. It wasn't bad though, since I'd been two times before, once for two months and once for seven months, so I didn't mind. I still went to Europe though to st uh, stay with my friend in Sweden for a month. The good news in all of this is now as I finished my degree in creative industries majoring in media design, there's a way for me to get both my language education degree and my creative industries degree. They've changed the requirements for the degree, so that's how I was able to get it. My point in all of this is that I've decided to pursue teaching again, not in the school setting though. I'm interested in going back to that. I'm not interested in going back to that, but in a tutoring slash private lesson setting. That's how I've been learning Japanese, and my Japanese teacher really has inspired me to pursue teaching again. I just want to share that with you to let you know that I'm here for you in understanding and support for your new adventure in creating YouTube content. Thank you for sharing your passion, and that is what I hope to do as well. Best of luck, Jess. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, that's it's cool. Like mm -hmm. Mal, Mal read through the comments of that resignation video. And there was just so many people that had honestly similar stories that could either that could relate know, relate from a student's point of view or from a teaching point of view. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really nice to see. And I I know people who were in your situation when they were student teaching had a harsh student teacher. Um, so I understand that too. Sorry, I just think it's funny that I struggled super hard to get those things open. Uh -huh. Like I was like doing this. Me too. And then if you pull them from the side, they snap right open. Like that, that's absolutely bizarre to me. Donkey so, Kong Country. Do you have these on Game Boy Advance? I don't. Okay, I was gonna say, did you know if the labels were different? No, nope, I, uh, I do not have them on Game Boy Advance. Um, and I've talked about it briefly in the past, but um, the GBA versions of the Donkey Kong Country games actually are different a little bit than their Super Nintendo counterpoints counterparts. There are uh, there are additional levels, some new music and some other random things. So like um, the they look better and they sound better on Super Nintendo or the Virtual Console. So I would recommend if you have never played the games, play them there. But then if you want like a little added bonus, play through the GBA versions because you actually run into some other stuff. There's even like mini games and stuff. Cool. So there's a, a few extra things. So that's very, very cool. And then there are Biscuits. Anzac Biscuits, Australia's authentic recipe. Doesn't get much more authentic than that. Arnott's Twisted Fave Scotch Finger Chocolate Chip. The heck is that? Scotch Finger Chocolate Chip. Only at Coles. See, we have Coles, but it's spelled differently. And it has it's, a K. And it sells very different things. And an H. Uh huh. Twisted Fave. I'm gonna. You gonna open them? I'm gonna open. You gonna open those ones? Yeah. But these. You wanna try these too? These are authentic. Yeah, but these have chocolate. Yeah, but these are authentic. All right, we'll open yours. I wanna open these up and, and taste a biscuit. Can I eat them? I don't know. They contain egg and tree nuts. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can eat those. Okay. Oh man, I opened them up and they smell really good. Smell those. Yeah, cinnamony. Take one of them. Mmm. Ow. They're hard, ain't they? Mm hmm. They're probably for dipping in coffee. Mmm. Or tea. Mm hmm. Mmm. They're good on their own, they're just really crunchy. Here's a question yeah. for Australians and people in the UK. Mm -hmm. Can biscuits be soft? Hmm. Because like cookies in America, I mean, yeah, chocolate chips are cookies, but like this would be a cookie. Mm -hmm. But like if this was also super soft, that would also be a cookie. Mm -hmm. and, I, and if I think of an English biscuit, I think of something like this where it's really hard and you would dunk it in tea. Mm hmm. I think of, um, I think, you know what I think of it? I think of a biscotti. 
mm, that mm -hmm. that hardness. Mm -hmm. That's what I think of. But yeah, yeah, in America, in America, this would be a cookie. And what Mal said is true. It doesn't matter if it's hard or soft. Like they're just all cookies. Like an Oreo is hard, mm -hmm. but most, and I mean a chocolate chip cookie can be hard, but most times cookies are soft. Yes. That's mostly what they're presented as. Anyway, um, Jess, thank you for all of this. Because um, I get to snack on these, which is awesome. Then also you sent some awesome games and uh, you had a really uh, awesome letter, two letters. So good, good package, A plus. We should go to Australia. We should go to Australia. We should go to Australia and eat biscuits. And that's it. Nothing else. Best vacation ever. Next up, we have a, uh, a pretty big box uh, coming from Deidre in Arlington, Texas. Mouse. This is a uh, flat rate box. Almost got it open, there we go. So what do we got in there? Oh my lord, food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Are those chocolate covered pretzels? Those are chocolate cup. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay, let's start with this. I don't know if there's a letter. We might find it at some We're point. We're gonna have to dig through the food to get to the letter. Okay. These are cookie brittle lemon. What? I bet those smell amazing. And cookie brittle cocoa. Oh my god. We just had biscuits. People are sending us food and I'm so okay with that. Holy crap. Outrageously delicious cookies. Ooh, they're dark. No, they're not. They're um, they're uh, they're not dark chocolate covered pretzels. In fact, they're not pretzels. They're, they're um, um, uh, um, what are they, Mel? Um, uh, uh, sticks. Sticks in a someone, package. Someone, someone sent us some um, uh, mud covered sticks. <laughs> you can't have any because you heavy. don't like to eat sticks. What is this? Remember the first time you ate sticks? You said they were terrible? What is wrong with <laughs> Bucky, is he a, um, he's a beaver? Is that the, what the, you oh guys probably can't gosh. see, it might be too small. He's on here too, bigger. Okay. Bucky, he's like a little beaver, but it, it looks like it's just supposed to be his head, but what it ends up looking like is that it's his head on two little <laughs> tiny feet. So he's just waddling around. Jalapeno honey mustard, what? What? That's awesome. What are these? Would you try this? Yeah. You're just kind of scared? Yeah, I'm kind of okay, scared. Dark chocolate, oh my God. Here. Oh my God, I'm covered in food. Have some beaver nuggets. <laughs> what is a beaver nugget? Brown sugar, cornmeal, corn syrup, vegetable oil, salt, margarine, uh, soybean oil, water, salt, uh, a bunch of fun stuff. Contains soy. Uh, I don't know what these are. Um, Cheetos? Cheetos. <laughs> they're, br they're brown sugar. They look like fried shrimp. They're, they're like brown sugar Cheetos, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Um, the best thing about this package is it's the same on all sides, so I can go, oh yes, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, what is this? Brand new, world best quality. Oh, I shouldn't have been shaking this. <laughs> Presents for your delicious taste. Enjoy your happy times. Um, yeah, okay, I will enjoy my happy times, oh yes, choco cake. Lord of mercy. I'll open that anytime soon. <laughs> Oh, were you I was slightly shaking it because I was trying to figure out what it was because I could hear the liquid moving around. Okay, so you shook up a uh, old school Dr. Pepper. Interesting. Cool. Um, is I'm there? I'm not seeing any notes. No. No, you, no I'm not you, seeing are you any kidding notes. Me? No. What do you mean? <laughs> there, I'm not seeing any note. Yeah, all we know is that it's from Deidre, and that Deidre's username is Zaraha. But there's no note. No note. Deidre, I know you're watching. First off, hey, how's it going? Second hope off. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Second oh, off, yes. oh yes. Uh, I appreciate all this stuff. Um, I Can we have a beaver nugget? <laughs> yes. Dipped in uh, jalapeno honey mustard? No, no, I think it's probably good. It's on the um, I've never- I have an exacto knife. If only there was some way to open this. I got it. 
Um, yeah, I've never, uh, I've never... You're gonna get beaver nuggets all over. It's gonna explode. No, it actually opened very, really nice and easy. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> they, uh, they have a very, have very strong, strong brown sugar. Yeah. Don't they look like fried shrimp? They really do. It's kind of like caramel corn. Yeah. But it hmm. doesn't have that annoying popcorn squeak. It's the consistency of a Cheeto but tastes in like the shape corn. of a fried shrimp <laughs> covered <laughs> in caramel corn. Caramel. Caramel corn. Mm. Welcome to Stephen Mail, the food episode. Do you know what you say to that? Oh, yes. Can I interest you in a beaver nugget? No, I had one. Have another one. Because I'm pretty sure there's food in the next box too. Oh yes! They are messy. That's why I wiped it on my shirt. Um, Deidre, thank you. There's so many amazing snacks. There's so many amazing snacks. I'm also really pumped about the jalapeno honey mustard. I'm kind of curious. How hot it is, but it's it's jalapenos. Usually, I can take those pretty well. I'm pretty freak stoked. It's been a really good mail video. Anyway, Deidre, thank you, and um, we look forward to eating all this stuff. All right, let's move on to um, the fine. Oh my God, is this Calvin? Yes. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the next one's food. Yeah, the next box is from Calvin in San Francisco, California who every month or two has been mailing us a box of stick-based products. I do like sticks. <laughs> You're trying to tell me I don't eat no sticks. I eat sticks. I love sticks. Calvin sends us sticks and they're great. Oh my gosh. We're <laughs> gonna open this box from Calvin. Inside right. Calvin's box is... Stick-based products. Stick-based <laughs> products. What'd I say? What'd I say? You're trying to tell me I don't eat sticks. I do eat sticks. Can't tell me not to eat sticks. All right, so let's There's see what two. we got. Two things here. This one's from. I can read. Okay. <laughs> Dear Stephen Amal, hope all is well. In this package, you should see a few surprises this time around instead of the normal package that I send. There is actually something for Sagan and Kepler. Like I said in my last package, my fiance and my housemate have sent something this time around. Uh, we hope you enjoy. Let's meet back in the next package, shall we? Which is of the best kind, Calvin? And then we also have a leather. Uh, that says, to Stephen Amal, no doubt you've had the chance to see a great number of things in our collective box to the both of you. I wanted to take a moment to also include my own leather in addition to my best friend's snacks and the art you'll see here shortly, unless you've already taken to the, to the two pieces of work in here. Uh, thank you for all the effort and time you spend working on these videos and the willingness to share each day with viewers like us. Calvin introduced me to your channel since he, his fiance, and I have been living in San Francisco together. Getting to watch your blog and see the artwork and all the hijinks of video gaming has been a shared joy for the three of us. Thank you for being a part of the amazing experience I have now living in San Francisco. I hope you enjoy the picture I made, knowing that Pocky's flavors can span from the conventional to the downright quirky um, corn in your stick-based products, after all. Plus, I love Sagan and Kepler, so this inspiration just sort of happened. Blessings and best wishes, Mason. Cool. Um, so first off, thank you to both of you um, for, for not only sending off, sending like such a nice leather and, and the, an amazing box, which I haven't seen yet, but I know is amazing, but also like all the previous boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, we... We really tear we really tear through stick based products. I, we've said it before, but like Pocky and Pretz are just really well designed for a snack. Uh, a lot of times we use it as a as a method of holding us over until dinner, mm -hmm. and it works really well. Um, and then also whenever we have company, some of the crazier stuff is really fun to <laughs> try this force try this, on people. Try this. Yeah. Try this corn. <laughs> it's corn. Uh, you know, Pocky and Oh Yes should team up. Oh Yes sticks. Anyway, what's in here? So we've got a huge box of stuff, which we'll take a peek at in a minute. And we've also got this. It's a little, I can tell it's a little canvas. Let me get this open. Oh man, this is cute. Aww. Oh my God, look at this. 
That is darling. I love that. I really love that. You know what I really love? Hmm. I love how it's, um, I don't know if there's a term for it. You probably would know, not me. But the, the fact that it's, it's not like highlights and shadows, it's a flat color thing. Mm -hmm. I actually really like that, especially because the background is more detailed, so there's a lot of contrast between the, the characters. The background is very painterly. Yeah. Painterly? Yes. Is that a real word? Yes. Holy crap. You learn something every day. And then along with that is this. And uh, it says, Dear Stephen Amell, I hope my handwriting is a little more legible than Calvin's. You know to avoid any additional recurring jokes, aka the best witches. Hi there. If you haven't already guessed, I'm Calvin's fiance. My name is Van, or Vaughn, uh, but everyone knows me for at least a decade that has called me Bick. Either uh, is fine and I would answer. As Calvin has mentioned in a former letter, uh, December 2015, I believe, that I have grown to adore the two of you through watching your vlogs. I hope you enjoy the snacks and the painting of a sleeping Venusaur and Skitty and poor Psyduck. Keep up the wonderful work, but do remember to take time to relax and enjoy life with each other. Take care. Sincerely, Bic. Bic? Thank you. And that is awesome. I really, really love that. That thing is so stinking cute. It's so well done and so cute. Man. And it's, I like Psyduck's face. I do like Psyduck's face. Um, what's funny is that this comes at an interesting time because um, Haley <laughs> just recently started doing this thing where... She, every day she's drawing a new Pokemon? She's drawing a new Pokemon every order. day in order. And a few other people saw her doing that and just decided, yeah, we're going to do that too. Well, the most recent one is Venusaur. So I've just seen all this Venusaur art and then I get this awesome painted Venusaur as well. And it's just... It's so cute. You know, I, I think my favorite part of it is the uh, the petals. Yeah. Like the the petals Petal are really, really well mm -hmm. done. And I like the, the look of them. Anyway, Bic, thank you. Bic, Mason, and Calvin, the the stick-based dream team. Um, let's see what we got. I believe this is for cats because it says just for cats on it. <laughs> just for cats? I think I make that decision. Stella and Chewy's only the good stuff, tummy tickling turkey dinner morsels. What? That is funny. 100% complete and balanced dinners made with raw, cage-free turkey with no added hormones or antibiotics. Very cool. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. Let's go through this. Yeah. And let's see if we can get them up on our laps to eat one. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. I mean, also, it's only fair. Yeah, because we, we snacked on mm -hmm. biscuits and beaver nuggets. Yes. So they should have they should have a say too. I think you would like this. What is it? It says baked cookie on the back, but it looks like molasses or caramel. Mm-hmm. I like both of those things. Mm -hmm. It looks like molasses, I think. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Men's Pocky. <laughs> Why does this exist? Why? Because this is too feminine. I don't know. <laughs> Men's Pocky. It's the exact same thing in a different box. All right. Okay, so then we got this one. Feminine Pocky. Uh, is that... Edamame stick-based yeah, products? Yeah, edamame. I wonder what that's like. Huh. Yeah, edamame. Butter. Butter. <laughs> Paula Dean Press. Hey, y'all! Buy my stick-based products! Wow. You do wow. good, Paula Dean. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's not something I try. It just happens. Butter. Salted chocolate pretzels. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. In, I'm into that. Uh, I think uh, I think Kevin sent one of these before because I, I, I feel like so. I've had it. Yeah, these are really good. I really like salt. orange. Orange, orange pocky, Brazilian orange actually. Coconuts. Coconuts. Huh. Coconut pocky. I bet my mom would really like that. She's really into coconut. Oh, hello panda. Oh, hello panda. I uh, I used to get these all the time as a kid. Well, when I got them, they were koala yummies. Which actually still exists, I guess. They're but separate the, brands. They're separate brands, but they're the same type of thing. Nacho cheese Pringles. Wow. All right, that's interesting. Cool. Pour water and freeze. Oh. Oh man, that's awesome. A 20-sided dye ice mold? Let me open this thing. <laughs> Is it silicone? Sniff it. I think it's silicone. Okay, it probably Can you is. tell by sniffing? Yeah. yeah. If it's latex, it smells like rubber. Yeah. Um, that is awesome. It's, it's a freaking 
20 sided dice. I, oh man, you know what we should do? Huh? We should get some of these and make them and for make D &D? them for D and D, and then we shouldn't tell anyone. We should just make them and then put them in everyone's drinks. That is really neat. That's that's a cool idea. That's really fun. Uh, we've got uh, a Martha Amiibo, which is very very cool. I think this was one at, at some point that was like extremely hard to get. I can't remember. When the Amiibos first came out, there was this crazy hysteria over them, and then fortunately, over time, it's bu it's built up to the point where you can get them. In fact, some of the exclusivity stuff is is ended also because mm -hmm. it used to be you could only get Ness at GameStop. Yeah. And now he's available at other okay. places. So, very very cool. Hi, Bill. Fight Hi, for my Bill. friends. Um, happy cola. Oh, I feel like. I should try one of those. Yeah, you should. Huh. They're good. Yeah, because they, they're probably like fizzy or something. Double cream yam yam. Yan yan. <laughs> yams. They're just yams in the, in the box. And yeah, okay. So and much food. biscuit stick blueberry taste. <laughs> Mal read that. <laughs> exactly what it said. That's biscuit. what it says in the English I know, the I know. Biscuit stick blueberry taste. All right. Pritz. Pretz. Pretz. I don't know what flavor that is. On the back it says roast. Baked cookie? Huh. Sugar cookie? Baked. Yeah, it might be like a sugar cookie. That's kind of what it looks like based on the, the art. Ooh, a new stick based product. What's that? It says bourbon. Bourbon? <laughs> a bourbon cookie. Interesting. Paquila. Alright. Orange Oreo. Oh wow. Orange Oreos. Uh, matcha. Yeah. The green tea Oreos. The, um, I, I don't know what this one is. What is that? Is that? It's cut off. It kind of looks like cookies and cream type thing. Yeah. Not exactly sure. Very, very cool. And then this thing here. And then at the very bottom is a little thing that says fragile. Very easily. Oh, oh. oh my god. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That is so stinky. Oh my god, I love it! I really love it! Man. Man, and it's cat Catnip but, Poppy. Yeah. Wow. That is that is awesome. Okay, so like this was a great box. It had food, it had art, it had I don't know what the word for I guess awe. Like, like, aw, because I did that for the two pieces of amazing art in here. Oh my god. Um, the three of you are awesome. To, um, to Bick, Calvin, and Mason, thank you. Um, that was really, really awesome, and I'm, you can't see because it's off screen, but I'm covered in food. And <laughs> As you always are. I'm covered in food, and in front of me is food, and on the floor is food. This was the food episode of Stephen Mail. It was. Like we've got, there was more. I think there was probably more food this this video than there, there's been than there ever has been. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, thank you so much for. Are we gonna get the kitties for the treats? Yeah, I'll do that at the very end. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have a leather or a package or food that you would like to send in, you can do so. Um, there is a link in the description box below that'll tell you where to send it and then also, um, you know, an FAQ of like what to send and, and things like that. Um, and we, we look forward to opening your stuff for October. Um, now, I'm gonna get all the food off of me and then we're gonna get the kitties and see if they'll we try the- We just have to the, shake um, it and like call their names. Yeah, I just wanna move everything first so they're not like crawling on stuff. Boys. Shake it like this. Cappy. Cappy. You want a treat? Cappy, come here. He's like, oh. Here you go, bud. Come on, Sagan. Come oh. on. There you go. You can have it. There you go. Come on. Huh? Come on, Sagan. <laughs> Sagan hasn't committed to coming up on your lap yet. He's standing on his back paws. Oh, I gave it to Kep and Kep's like, I'll eat this elsewhere, thanks. Come on, Sagan. You could, he's purring so hard. Come here. Uh, all the way up. There you go. Sagan. Kep, come back. You want more? You like them? Sagan. Okay, so I think it's fair to say that these were a hit. 
You want that? There you go. There you go. Have at it, bud. <laughs> Do you hear them purring? <laughs> they are purring really loud. They're a huge fan of this. Sigan wants more. He's looking around. Mm -hmm. You want another one? There you go, Sig. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Kept like, where's mine? Dang it. Up high. Up high. Oh, I dropped a little piece. You go up high. Up high. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll finish giving these to the kitties. They seem very, very pleased that... Did he take it with him? He took it with him. He's like, I'll eat it over here. Um, they seem very, very pleased with this. You a fan of that, huh? That's good. But uh, once again, thank you for sending this stuff in. And to everyone who sent in stuff, thank you. Uh, like I said before, links in the description if you'd like to send something our way. <laughs> or send something the cat's way. And uh, we'll see you next month for the October mail. Sagan. Sagan, come back at more. Come back at more, bud. Sagan. He says, yes, please, thank you. Come I here. would love to. There you go. 